Hi, I'm James, welcome to Molten Make, and today we're going to make a vacuum chamber. For this project, I'm recycling this old vacuum pump, which was originally used as a beer bottle filler. I've decided to use OSB sheeting for this project. It's quite a rough and ready material, but I think with this aluminium, it's going to give it a really nice industrial feel. After laying out the size of the box I wanted to make, I had to make some cuts. And I did this on my panel floor. You can see I'm using the blade at an angle here so that I can get mitered corners in the box. And after cutting them, it's over to the mitre saw to finish off the job. You can see I've used a round of metal here to act as a stop block, so I can just push the wood up against the edge and know that the two pieces I've cut will be the same size. What I'm doing here is marking out a position for a hole to cut in the front of the wood. Now to do that, I'm going to use a force on it. Uh, that one. Yeah, that'll do. You see it's a bit rusty, but it does cut a really nice hole with clean sides, which in sheet like this is pretty important. It's fast forward. In real time this probably took a couple of minutes and then a couple more to clean it up. Sawdust is a great way to realise just how messy your workbench is. I had this stainless steel grate and thought it would be a great way to cover the front of that hole. So a bit of hot glue and some pressing and it was fixed in place. There you go. Now this is a tool I love. It's a bit like a pressurised marking pen. You put it in the end of the hole, press it down, and it fires out this paint. No more trying to scribble around the inside with a sharp pencil or something else. Once the motor was fixed to the base, it was time to put the box together. I used some wood glue and then put in some brad nails. Now, I'm still a bit nervous with this tool. I always think I'm going to fire it into my finger. On the top of the box, I wanted a place to put the pot. And rather than just glue it on top of the flat, I thought it would be fun to try using the CNC machine, just to cut a 3D profile that would fit the base. So I took a picture, put that into Fusion 360, and created a profile that would match the bottom. A quicker and easier way to do this would just be to cut a hole in a piece of wood and have another bit underneath to support the pot, but hey, I wanted some practice. And so with a bit of sanding, here's the final piece. I needed to cut through the bottom of this little plug socket and do a bit of sanding over here, but other than that, it works really well. Here's the box, and now I've just got to put lead on. I've cut a hole in the top for the hose that pulls the vacuum and I've got to attach the power button but that's it. It's almost ready to go. Since I might need access to the pump in the future I thought I'd just use some screws to attach the lid. And besides, I'm going to be using some aluminium to secure it in as well. And you can see me here using the band saw to, to, hey, it's not cutting. Maybe I'll just press on it. Ah, oh, that's what I did. If I press on it, it'll definitely work. Oh, or not. Ah, oh, adjust the guides. I adjust the guides. I'm still at the beginning of my learning curve with TIG welding. And with TIG welding aluminium, I'm even further down that curve. But hey, there's a pretty lens flare there. In the end, this setup wasn't really working for me, so I switched back to something a bit more simple. And that works a lot better.
Once I'd welded up a face frame, I then had to attach some sides on it to give it a bit more support. And again, I tried to do this with TIG weld. I don't have much style, but oh, pinky out, pinky out for style. That counts. So here's the final thing. There's loads of different techniques that I use in this, from metal cutting, wood cutting, welding, CNC in 3D and in 2.5D, and I've ended up with something that's really useful. But I'm not going to be able to use it in this project, so check back soon for when I'm going to use it. And in the meantime, why don't you check out one of my old videos? If you enjoyed this, like, share, comment and subscribe. It makes such a difference to me. And I'll see you next time.